civilization thrived from 3500 to 1500 BC in what is modern day Pakistan, an enormously sophisticated, technologically advanced society of sprawling walled cities with what was essentially indoor plumbing. East Indian railway workers would be the first to uncover their buried cities in the 1920s, and we would tediously, painstakingly sweep the dust from their massive courtyards. We would name their intricate architecture the Great Bath and the Citadel, leaning in closely to the unearthed remains, searching for the pulses of our own ancient hearts. Delicate limbed sculptures and detailed carvings of human faces were found at the excavation sites, evidence of a complex artistry. Piecing together their culture, we marveled at the brilliance of our ancestors, but seethed at a gaping hole in their history. There were these tablets filled with script, broken plates of winged creatures, writing that looked more like images than letters, and to this day, this pre-Sanskrit language is still undeciphered. Archaeologists have discovered over 400 different symbols in their alphabet. My imagination runs wild with these unanswered questions. Perhaps they had characters for every different kind of silence. I wonder what the one I am sitting in now would be named. Going through old journals, searching for clues about the person I used to be. Every cell in my physical body is different every few years, so I am always, in a sense, watching myself disappear and creating myself anew. Yet, my heart stays so confusing, so uncontrolled and strange. I am searching for patterns within the changes and hoping that I have grown. And tonight, sorting through the mythology of myself, I feel like the linguists hunched over those crumbling artifacts in frustration, examining and re-examining each movement of ink on the pages, going mad in the presence of those silent words, the heartbreaking calligraphy of our pasts. The people who wrote these entries exist only in whispers and instincts now, and I understand the tantalizing feeling of always being on the verge of figuring it all out, how the letters shift in the lamplight when you've almost pinned them down, and when I ask my heart, why are you still like this? so unbridled and unyielding, so foreign within me, I remember the Indus Valley and the historians still desperate to decode their words as we speak, trying not to let the unknowing keep me from striving to evolve my love for the world's greatest mysteries will always be those still unsolved. <laughs>